after bringing an abandoned boat back to life and sailing over 1,000 miles, we decided to take some weeks to get some much-needed boat work done. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Every day I think, oh, we are almost finishing the refit. Look at the boat. It's a mess again. What's the plan? Well, this is one of those projects that we have been postponing for over a year, but now we are committed to somehow have a shower cabin ready. Last week we started installing the bilge pump, so stay tuned because there is a lot of things happening to this area this week. The diameter of this pump is different to the diameter of the hose that we already have connected to the hull of the boat, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this little hose and then this adapter that I just created. This was threads, I just sent down the threads and it's gonna work. And then we're gonna put this one here and the other one there and hopefully it's gonna work. Now we wait for this to dry and hopefully it's gonna hold in place. What's going on there? Next step is to create the connector for the VHF antenna and then we're gonna install this antenna and then we go inside and we do the other connection and we put the AIS in place. At least we can leave everything connected. Now let's see if I can do that. The outside shield cannot touch the core and there was one little thin wire touching the core. Working? Not working. All good now. All I need to do is to weld. Of course I did a huge mistake. This was supposed to go through this hole and come from the inside of the support of the antenna and now I need to melt and hopefully it's gonna work. If not we are in trouble because we have no water connector. It's out. You got the point, I'm not gonna film this again. <laughs> Bad news! It never goes as it's supposed to go. This is completely loose. I bought this support of antenna thinking this is gonna work. Not at all. I'm not gonna leave this. We need to create a new support in like two days. So the solution is, the welder is coming, he's gonna get the support and... Build a new one. We're gonna take this part out and we're gonna weld a stainless steel tube directly to the support and then we screw directly to the support because this is not gonna hold. No way. Improving our showers outside. Yeah, it's gonna be really awesome because we take showers here all the time and we always leave on the cockpit the shampoo, the soap and everything. So now we're gonna have something that's just stick to here and everything's gonna just stay here. There is a shade. It's gonna be really good. I think it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it's like, you know, those simple things that makes a huge difference. That's one of them. After three years, <laughs> we're finally gonna do something that I don't know why we never done. There's this weird piece that we have no idea what that's for. We decide to take it out because there's a lot of rust around and so we're gonna give a clean to this because we are waiting for our food to arrive, so why not? We are ordering food instead of cooking. This way I have more time to work. Anyone knows what this is for? We are gonna take it out. Challenge. So, I have no idea. I was like, I'm gonna take the last screw and it's gonna fall in the water. No way. <laughs> so we need to get me a big uh, screwdriver. Screwdriver? And a chisel and a hammer. I have no idea where is the hammer on our mess, so I guess I'm gonna use this one. I knew one day this was gonna be useful. <laughs> I think I got everything. What? <laughs> That's an important hammer. We have two, so yeah, let's keep one safe. Sorry for that, but we need to use for some. 
Oh, it's heavy. A rust they, they're both piece. Go, they're both going to be like this now. <laughs> ha -ha. Now we have a lot of cleaning to do. Lunch is ready. What's going on there? Trying to find. Yeah, I'm just connecting the wires for the shower bilge pump. So the connection is here. I'm just doing the last connection and then I do on the electrical panel. And we have a shower bilge pump. It's something. At least we have the bilge pump working. It's the first step, you know, baby steps. One last thing to do now, <laughs> electrical painter. Ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't want to try, but sometimes we need to try, right? <laughs> so the final step is to see if anything explodes when I turn it on. No. Nothing explodes, and now let's take a shower. So I'm taking a shower. No. Now we need to try to find out what went wrong, because supposedly everything is right. That's weird. Maybe I put uh, the wrong position there. of the switch. Let's hope this is the problem. Yay! Yeah, that's the problem. So basically this is a three-way switch that I just used two of the three ways and I put the wrong one. Because I don't want this to be on without someone holding. I want you to press and it's on only when you press. In this way you can never forget on. So I just switch the wires. I think it's gonna work now. Fingers crossed. That's it. That was just to give some emotion to the, <laughs> the whole thing because I've been working on that for a while and it's like, nah, I can't believe it. All good. Now all we need to do here in order to take a shower is to figure out what's wrong with this guy that is brand new but has no pressure. And then we also want to apply some Sikaflex on the edge because if we don't do that, I'm pretty sure all this wood is going to be rotten really soon. And that's one of the reasons why we never took a shower in this head <laughs> because we are afraid of rotting the wood. Oh, and we have the problem of the light. This light's not good, we need to fix this light. We'll get done eventually. So, we have been spending the day trying to organize the boat. Two bicycles here, some clothes. Still a mess here. I have two kites there also. So ah. here's the paradise. Bicycles, kites, everything. <laughs> In five minutes, the guy that's gonna hopefully fix our fridge gonna arrive. We finally found someone to check our fridge. It's been like a, almost a year we don't have a fridge. Yeah, I don't know if we mentioned it. I think we did mention that, that we yeah. use our freezer as a fridge. Today we lost another thing. Our fridge is not working. So I'm gonna turn on the freezer here and I'm gonna transfer things from the fridge to the freezer and hopefully we can figure out what's going on. And when you do that, everything you want to get frozen, it won't get frozen and everything we don't want to get frozen, gets frozen. So all the milk and yogurt and every liquid gets frozen and meats, they unfroze. I forgot how big this is actually. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. We hope it's just the gas. Let's wait and see. Remember that we replace all the lamps of the bowl. These old ones for the new LED ones. This is the old one as it was. Really good as you can tell, and that's the new one. Ta da! <laughs> this is also LED, but not good ones. This one is the only lamp we didn't replace, and the reason for that's because this one we're gonna use a different kind of lamp because it's a humid area. We're gonna take showers here, so we wanted something more sealed, and that's the one we're gonna use. But we have a problem how can we install this inside of the system here? So we're gonna change, we're gonna get rid of this part, we're gonna get rid of this part also, and we're gonna create something to hold the lamp right in the middle. So, I'm gonna cut a thin piece of plywood, I'm gonna create a hole, I'm gonna install this on the plywood, we're gonna paint the plywood and we're gonna install the plywood there. Not necessarily in the same order, but that's the plan. So let's get to work. We have great news, we have a fridge! It's already with some iced tea, finally! <laughs> so we are trying the fridge to see if it holds the gas. Hope it works. The problem was one of the connections of the pipe was with a leak, so we lost the gas. That's that's it. So the next step now is to find the exactly center of 
the circle because I have one circle and then I need to have another circle. Of course, I'm gonna Google it and put on YouTube. Let's see what it YouTube it. YouTube it. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> YouTube it now. You can do that with just a straight edge and a compass. So the first step is just to draw a line crossing the circle anywhere before the center of the circle. Set your compass so it's longer than half the distance of your core. And with the point on where the core crosses the circle, draw an arc above and below the line. Repeat this on the other point. This gives you two points. And when you draw a line through that, you have a line that's perpendicular to your cord going directly through the center. This line is going directly through your circle, through the center of your circle too. Using the same trick with your compass, you can now find the center of this and draw a line perpendicular through that. I just found the center and I'm gonna do exactly on the center. I think it's gonna be good. Good morning, what a beautiful day, sunny day. Time for some painting. And you think that we won't have any, any more paint? <laughs> I hope this is the last painting job in this period here in the marina. And I hope we don't have any painting job soon because I think we consider the painting job the worst ones. Painting job is the worst ones. Why we are doing the worst ones, but when it's ready, when it's done, it's the best <laughs> one. I, I love to see the result, but it's always messy. So the idea is to paint this white. And hopefully we can start the lamp tomorrow. The day has come. <laughs> yeah, we've been postponing this for a long time because we are afraid of trying to <laughs> stick these stickers in place because we cannot make a mistake. As soon as we touch, that's it. This is a Harkin Marine Grip. They gave us this as a gift on the Annapolis boat show last year. We're gonna try it and see what we think about it and if it lasts for a long time and if it's actually a really good non-skid. It's scary to stick anything to the deck. The first one, first of many. <laughs> That's it, we're done. I like the result, to be honest. Me too. If we really like the solution, we might do the whole boat. And with water, it gets even more sticky. It seems to be great. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna reuse the tape that we did the harking thing to isolate here to apply some Sikaflex. The head is ready for some Sika flex. So we are installing the woods from the ceiling. Remember the support for the antenna that didn't work? This is completely loose. Now we have a thread here and we create this fat piece here and we're gonna screw this to this. And now we're gonna bolt this to the arch and the antenna is gonna come here and the wire goes inside. It's gonna be perfect. Now we hope for the best. Now it's good. Yay! One more project then. First support we did months ago, it was on the same angle as the arch, so that means it was not straight, it was like with an angle. And in this way, you limit the distance of the signal of the VHF. It needs to be straight in order to go far. That's pretty good. Last finishing. Some zip ties. One disclaimer, we know too many antennas at the same place. If we have any interference problem in the future, we try to, I don't know, put this one on the other side or something. For now, they're gonna stay here because it's 
the easiest way to do it right now. This is the internet antenna. That's just an extender. This is the GPS for the AIS. And this is the VHF for the AIS. We'll see. Supposedly they need to be far away from each other, but you know, you don't have that much space. The only gooseneck that we have around here is this one. So if we take all the way there, we need to have a longer wire and the wire we have is not as long because this one comes with the wire already. This one, the wire we bought is the same length as this one. So, you know, it is what it is. It's one less job for today. That's pretty good, yeah? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the primer with our friends. Thank you. So we can apply Sika Flex you. on our bathroom head. Good morning. <laughs> Time for some fun. It's my turn to play with Sikaflex. <laughs> Have fun. Some people would say we should use the 3M sealant, but we don't have them in Brazil. So yeah, th that's the reason. We Sikaflex not paying us to use Sikaflex, and people are like, that's shit, we should use 3M. If we had, we would try, but we don't have in Brazil, unfortunately. I think to watch, that's like watching paint dry. We can do a time lapse, time lapse series. Check out this mess. Anytime we work on the electrical panel, it becomes a mess. This panel is just for electronics and exterior things. So when we started installing the electronics months ago, we mentioned that this was temporary, a temporary connection. And the reason for that's because we always wanted to take this panel out. This is an old panel that controls all the exterior lights, navigation lights, anchor light, compass light, everything's here. So we want to transfer this to that panel so we have less panels around and also because this is an old panel that use a kind of uh, switch that sometimes we have like malfunction and we have no I don't know anchor lighting for example so we wanted to transfer this to there we were supposed to do this week we didn't have enough time so until we do this transfer this is going to be a temporary connection because we might change things around and there is something else check this out we have a radio charging because sometimes we are in a place that there is no cell phone connection and we want to communicate with someone on the boat so we have a handheld vhf radio and this is an awesome one because this also has gps and also has ais you can see the ships on this little radio so that means for safety if we need uh, we're never going to do that but if one day we need to abandon ship there is AIS handheld and that's really really awesome so this is a safe future and we already did all the installation so now we just have one wire coming from the panel it's straight to the charger and the charger is going to be fixed here so the radio is always going to see on the nav station let's check the progress on the head because we didn't mention yet but today is a really 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 special day and Hobera needs to get this job done today right? yeah how is it going? a mess I was doing well and Duke decided to help me and there is a place that's terrible and it's the one that everybody's gonna see because it's right there. Oh no, that, that looks good. Terrible babe. No, Look it's all this. good. This is the one I did my, by myself. And that's the one I did. <laughs> so tell us why do we need to finish this head today? Today we are receiving our first patron on board. He's already in Brazil, in one hour he's gonna arrive, his name is Dan. So Dan is coming from Oregon just to stay with us for 10 days. I don't even know if we mentioned that in the video, but we did a draw in between all our patrons. The cool story is that we were afraid that, you know, we're gonna draw a name and this person would be too far away, would be working, would, could not come, or any other reason would not come. So we were like, no, we're gonna draw 10 names. We tried the first one, if it doesn't work, we tried the second one, if it doesn't work, we, we, we keep going until we find someone that's willing to come spend some time with us. And then the first name, he decides to come. And that's just so, so cool. But for now, we need to finish the head. I'm cleaning this and I, and I did a mess here that was okay before. We have one ex unexpected thing that we completely didn't expect. Our head, this one, is leaking again. Yeah, on the handle. When we lift this handle, leaks water from here. So we need to open up the pump for the head. If we don't fix that, that means that they need to use our head on our uh, cabin. It's all good. It is what it is and we're gonna either fix or he's gonna use our head. It's already 
an improvement. We have a new ha a shower that's not properly working. We have a huge pump so we can take showers. <laughs> it's an improvement. <laughs> yeah, we fix one thing, we break a second. Yes, yes. Um, then we are planning on maybe applying some silicone on the top part. Oh, and we still need to install this light oh, today. Yeah, we have no light. Yeah. But not right now. Just right now. Just give me one second. <laughs> Listen to, uh, soon, soon. <laughs> Sorry for the noise, we are charging the batteries because we are in a marina for another, I don't know, 20 hours and we need to use the energy, pump up the batteries to make sure we leave the marina 100% charger. so it's gonna make a little bit of noise. But now before I close this little mess, there is one extra temporary connection I need to make and that's the AIS. So we already, as you know, install GPS antenna, VHF antenna, and then I need to do the power connection now, and then we're done. But I think you don't need to see that, it's just like connecting cables to the AIS. I'm gonna show you that later. That's so cool, just received a message, our patron arrived. Why well, Roberto went to get the laundry key, because it's gonna close the administration in like 15 minutes. I'm trying to find them. I think I found. I found him right there. Hey. How's it going, man? Oh, oh, so good you made it finally. I know. That's so so good, man. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new cameraman now. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Finally, we've been playing this for such a long, long time. That's really cool. So many gifts. Then can come <laughs> as many times as he wants to check it. He brought like coffee, chocolate. Ooh, just wait. Southern part. The chocolate, parts. The chocolate <laughs> needs to wait a little bit. We've been waiting for this from Selden for such a long time because when we visit Selden factory in the US, they were out of stock. And this is just so awesome. That's the card for our Spinnaker pole track. So we brought the track, but we didn't have the card. And now we have the card. I just found out what this for. So <laughs> we have the card, we have the sports, we have the blocks. So we have. Oh, that's our steering cable, new steering cable. The one we have is gonna be the backup. That's the. It's gonna be the original one. We need what to replace that. We have today. there a lot of gifts. First, new blocks. This. <laughs> Yeah, we are going to replace all the blocks from the wing vane and from the general furler. And this is something that we bought two days ago and arrived in time. <laughs> <laughs> so we bought our own tensioner. So now we can actually know if our mess is trimmed right, is with the right tension. That's going to be really awesome. Selden has like a data sheet that you can follow. It's like a guide. Yeah, yeah. so Selden put together a PDF with all the instructions on how to trim a mess properly. So we're gonna get this tri this tensioner and we're gonna go and trim the entire mess and it's gonna be really awesome. This is the other gift. That's the other gift. I didn't this give that one to you. <laughs> yeah, this one is from Tej, that is a good friend that has also a YouTube channel, Sailing Catalpa, that's a family from Australia. Their kid is drawing these cool things and transforming them into posters and also into NFTs. And I've been talking to him about the drawings because I really like you know his persistence on drawing and learning and I, he was like can i send you one i'm like yeah that's really cool <laughs> there's a sailboat it's a pirate mm. and something that i made Ooh. i think it's actually Seriously? brazilian uh what? mahogany uh, mahogany that's really it's mahogany and ash it's one of the best wood i in think Brazil. it's a gift for me right yeah yeah as i'm the cook I'm hoping it fit. I was mm. nervous that uh, it mm. wouldn't fit on your. It's perfect. Counter. Look at this. The color is almost perfect. the same as the. It matches the boat perfectly. Yeah. So thanks so much for the gift. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. You remember that we couldn't install our shower. Somehow we bought a brand new shower in the US and it's not working. I don't know why. So today, when Dan arrived, we went to have lunch in the marina with our friend Hafer. And then Hafa leaves the table and go to the next table. I'm like, what? Who is Hafa talking to? And he comes and he's like, Duca, I'm gonna save your marriage today. I'm like, what? He's like, I found a solution for your shower. I have a friend that's right on the next table that he actually makes in Brazil a really, really good shower that it cleans the water at the same time, save water. So it's like a really, really good shower. And I want to introduce you to him. And then we met Felipe. 
It's pure shower. Yeah. <laughs> That's just amazing. So he is like, no, I have the right shower for you. That was like today in the lunch. So he's fast. <laughs> so we are gonna install this new shower that I'm really curious to test on the head. And I also gonna have one outside. Let's talk and let's see this. Oh, it's just, it's a filter shower. That's so crazy. It's filter the water, increase the pressure at the same time. Yeah, so basically there is like micro holes, 350 tiny holes that make such a thin drip of water that yeah, saves you put again the light you can see the hole that's so cool three phases of the filtration remove the chlorine to balance the pH as yeah. well so it saves the water about 50% and do I need to replace these elements with time yes every, si every six months every six months yes okay. every six months because this is a uh, it's absorption yeah, oh yeah, yeah. absorption the chlorine so in six months stop the filtration let's try yeah let's try please let's try do you see the pressure Oh, we have a shower now. You have three molds. This is the, the double one. Yeah. This is for high economy. You use this, this one. Increase the pressure, this one for a massage. Oh. So and you were saying that this saves water. Even with saves, this, it seems like so much water. Yes, the tray is very soft, the, yeah. the water. Oh, so yeah. now I put one on device here just to yeah. adjust the pressure. Okay. Then you're you're lucky. You arrived just when we have a shower. <laughs> Until today, it's been like almost a year without shower. No, I mean showers outside. Easy to uh -huh. adjust, but when you turn off, you see. Okay, it's open. Okay. Is this stainless steel? Yep. Three zero four. Mm -hmm. Stainless steel, so no problem with corrosion. Yeah. We never took a shower here in one year. This week's gonna be the first time. Let's go for the outside shower now. The white box of everything. Yeah, that's white like box. a butcher, the old name of the boat. That's like the old box of the boat. <laughs> and they say it, it gives you bad luck to have the old name on the boat, that you need to get rid of everything. I'm like, nah, it's good luck. Central timing. Yes. Here you can adjust as well. High pressure as well. That's really good, actually. What do you think then? I think it's awesome. <laughs> so no problem with uh, the, the, the lights, uh, the, the sunlight, yeah. because it's, uh, it's a high quality, uh, polycarbonate. Thanks so, so much. Yes, enjoy. That's, it's enjoy. so cool <laughs> when you somehow fix a problem without mm -hmm. not even knowing that we were going to fix it. We just went for like, a lunch today. That's mm -hmm. just awesome. And yes. you saved my marriage because Robert is complaining about the shower for a long time. Yeah. She always like, oh, we should have the shower. I'm like, no, not yet. One day, eventually, <laughs> and then eventually, eventually. But then she's like, Dan is arriving tomorrow. They're like, okay, I'm gonna fix the shower today. You did, in time. <laughs> oh, good. Almost finished with the head. We need to install the floor. Cameraman. Anna. <laughs> what do you say is the name for this? A soul. So we have a new shower. We still have no lamp. <laughs> <laughs> so during the day, you can take showers here. During the night, it's still not possible. You can't see. That's it for now. Thank you.